1689, the Earl of Shaftesbury said that, that the English Parliament was sovereign. But the English Parliament doesn't exist anymore. The English Parliament disappeared in 1707, as did the Scottish Parliament. The Parliament of the United Kingdom, there is no law at all that says that that is sovereign. And the reason why that's important is because in Scotland, there's no concept at all of parliamentary sovereignty. The Declaration of Our Broth, which you'll all be familiar with, of course, says that sovereignty in Scotland rests with the people. That's still the case today in Scots constitutional law. Still the case. And the Scottish courts have expressed an opinion in that regard, and particularly in cases in the 50s to the 70s. What does that mean in practice? It means that if this clause becomes law, Scotland will have imposed on it a form of sovereignty that firstly doesn't exist in Scotland and certainly cuts across the Treaty of Union in 1707. And the Scottish courts have said that is something that they are willing to look at in terms of its justiciability. It doesn't affect us in Wales, I grant you, because our court system was abolished gradually between 1536 and 1830. But this actually is a fundamental attack on the 1707 Treaty of Union in Scotland. I'll leave it to the Scots to fight their own battle, but it's something that just hasn't been noticed. Parliamentary sovereignty has never been part of the law of the United Kingdom with regard to the Parliament of the United Kingdom, apart from now.